For the first time in the history of their game, Last Day on Earth just revealed the next seven updates that are about to come. Kafir has never been great at communicating, so this is a pretty exciting step for them. You'll see the three steps that they already made. It, it includes the skill system and the recycler. It includes uh, the zombie cocoons at the multiplayer area. It includes the holiday event and the witch at the infected forest. But they also lay out the next seven updates. Now they told us to be careful because some of their plans may change, which totally makes sense. We gotta keep that in mind. Anytime that a game developer tells us what's going to happen, we have to keep in mind that it may not actually happen the way that they plan it. But the fact that they're even making a plan is good news because anytime a company makes a plan, they're more likely to fulfill it. There's always going to be problems. It's probably not going to look exactly like this chart has it, but it's more likely to happen because they have declared it. Also, this is exciting because Kafir has not let us in on what they're planning on to do. And now they're telling us. So I noticed there's a lot of negative comments on their Facebook page. Guys, you've got to learn when to be upset and when not to be upset. A lot of you have said you're upset upset about them not communicating, but then when they communicate, you still trash them because you're upset that they never apologized or something. It's stupid. I've heard some of the Kafir employees say, oh, well, it's just our community. They're always complaining. They don't realize that there are certain things that are legitimate complaints and certain things that aren't because you're just complaining about everything because you're just generally upset. So my encouragement would be to take it as a good thing and to tell yourself, hey, this is a good thing. Kafir's doing things they've never done before. Maybe this is exciting and treat it with a positive reaction to encourage them to keep doing this. Anyways, the next update they're hoping to release is really exciting. They're hoping to change the rating system, which I'm trying not to get too excited that it's going to be actually multiplayer rating. They're going to change the skill system, which I like the skill system, but I do think they could make some changes to make it better. And then they're adding the first actual multiplayer event where you, you can die in the multiplayer zone, which is pretty exciting. So there may actually be some challenge there. Their plan for the update after that is to add the new farm event, which they are saying is gonna be similar to the bunker. So that's kind of exciting. They're gonna add the new weapon modification system, which looks really intense and really awesome. And they're gonna make a more realistic shooting system. Scatters, misses, etc. I think that's awesome. That's gonna add some more diversity. I know some of you are nervous about this one because you don't want the game to get harder, but hopefully Kafir will balance it as they introduce these changes. The update after that, they're hoping to add loot in the multiplayer area so that when we're fighting in these multiplayer events we can actually get items from it. They're gonna add weapon modification skills which I have no clue what that is and they're gonna add a new weapon. I think this weapon is gonna be the new best weapon in the game. This gun that they're introducing is the best weapon in their other game Jurassic Survival. If you have not seen my video on why Jurassic Survival and Last Day on Earth are made by the same company you should check it out. In the fourth update from now they're hoping to add the suburb and swamp location locations, including the ATV. This is going to be a huge update. Many of us have theorized that this new location will introduce a new type of wood. We don't think it's going to be ash, but maybe like a birch wood. And then I believe they're going to be adding titanium in that update. In the fifth update after that, they're hoping to add the radio tower and everything that comes with that. Making friends, talking to friends, doing raids together, stuff like that. And then they also mention they're going to add different equipment and weapons for power armor, which I imagine has something to do with those other two things I've mentioned. The sixth big update after that, they're hoping to have new zombies, new decorations, and new locations. And then the update after that, they're hoping to have clan bases, a zombie arena, and PvP in multiplayer locations. You'll notice that the last three updates on here are a little bit more generic. It sounds like they haven't planned those out quite as clearly as they've planned out the first four coming updates. My guess is that they will try to push all seven of these updates before November 15th when Google rates all of the games for the year. Regardless, Kafir is communicating with us, which is a big deal. We need to recognize that they have not told us about future updates and now they just gave us seven future updates. So I think we should be happy that they're communicating and do our best to encourage them to keep communicating with us because this is a really big step for them. Well, that's it guys. I announced the 10 winners in this video. If you're curious about who one just skip to the end and I put up a graph with everyone that won. Also I've been doing a lot more live streaming this week. It's been a lot of fun. I prefer that you guys join me on Twitch but I know some of you guys only want to watch my streams on YouTube so if you're one of those people make sure to subscribe to this channel. All of my live streams that are on Twitch are also streamed to this channel. Alright guys I'll see you next time.